Hey guys, it's Ajax from Team High Society here, and today on the healing bench I've got my Tyrannus XD9 Plus. I'm sure if you've been flying quads even for a little while you've run across this radio. Really there's only two choices that are mainstream, and that's the FR Sky type radio and a Spectrum. And if you're flying FR Sky, most likely you've got this radio. So I've had this radio for a couple years I think and it's having a problem with the moment where even if I charge it right before I go to the field I get about five minutes of flight time out of it and that's just you know obviously that's not enough time so I went and looked at possible replacement options for batteries and it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery which is okay it's been all right for a couple of years now but um, we have better choices now and I've got the data sheet up here and basically the operating voltage range is 6 to 15 volts so a 2 or 3S LiPo will work um, and the current draw is only 260 milliamps so a quarter of an amp so we really don't need a high discharge battery for this at all there's a couple of options obviously you could get another nickel metal hydride pack which I just don't want to do or there's a LiPo battery, or you can get a LIFE, which is a lithium ion battery. Now, again, this isn't high discharge, and so there's a couple of advantages of uh, an LIFE battery over a LiPo battery. They seem to have less fire hazard. Now, I haven't ever had a battery catch on fire without me doing something to it, but it has a um, since this is something that you kind of just throw in your bag and don't ever really think about, um, I, I just and it doesn't need a high discharge, I figured I'd go ahead and get an LIFE battery rather than a LiPo. Um, again, 6 to 15 volts, 260 milliamps, so really any type of battery, RC battery, is going to work. Um, this is a 1500 milliamp um, 3S1P battery from Hobby King. I'll put the link in the doobly-doo but it is an LIFE it's got a 1C discharge which again is really low that's uh, an amp and a half so uh, six times more than this needs so let's see how hard it is to change out um, first let's take a look at the radio here pop open the back And here is our original battery. It looks visibly on the outside, it looks okay, but clearly it's not working. And this is 2000 milliamp hour. So that's pretty good. This is, like I said, it's 1500, but it's a 9.9 .9 volt, whereas this is only 7.2. And this has a, it doesn't have just a uh, voltage regulator, it actually has a boost or buck converter in it so it can actually take advantage of the higher voltage on this so I believe we'll probably get more time out of it than this battery pack. Just for giggles let's see what the weight difference is here. Not like we're flying the transmitter but you know 166 grams for the original and 115 for the new LIFE battery. So even though this is touted as a replacement or as a transmitter battery by Hobby King, none of the connectors that come on it are the same as this original pack. So let's just fix that right quick. And let's see, which I'm not going to take off here. Eh. Just do this one here. The 
make sure that's in the camera. Sorry, I wasn't sure if that was in the camera. So I've just chopped that one lead off. You got a positive and negative there, and here is the. I'm going to shorten this a little bit, actually. This is the original lead off of this battery, and I've just chopped it. I'm going to turn on the soldering iron here. We'll get some solder, I'll be right back. Soldering iron's all heated up. Brought back the helping hands with me as well. What we want to do here is just tend the ends. You know, here at Team High Society, we only do quality work. So, of course, we're going to get out some heat shrink here. And, uh, you know, color coordinated as well, you know, because of course. I'm going to slide that on leads here. All right. all there is to it. So I'm going to slide the heat shrink over these connections and you have to forgive me for a second, I'm going to go off camera and use the uh, hot air gun to shrink these two. There is the heat shrink. Turn off the soldering iron there. And we're pretty much all set here. So as you can see, you know, we maintained the polarity, the positive and negative. And uh, kind of don't like how these are hanging out here. But let's just see how it fits in the transmitter here real quick. Make sure we don't let any magic smoke out. So there's a certain way this needs to fit in here for the, the door to close. We'll see. that I wasn't super happy about how close that battery is to the connector but it really looks like it's not going to make any difference it's uh, got enough room that it fits in there just a little snug well that fit in there just fine alright 
right, moment of truth. Let's see if the smoke comes out. And then, one day, I got in. Awesome. You can see right there on the uh, display, it says 9.9 .9 volts. That is what a three cell LIFE battery is. 3.3 uh, .3 volts per cell and it was a 3S so um, all right guys that was pretty much it um, you saw there's a difference in weight this was about 40 grams lighter it should last us quite a bit longer or at least at least I'd say about 50% longer seeing as how it's got the higher voltage and this can handle it and it fit in there pretty well. I was, like I said, a little bit concerned with how that close it was to the battery connector, but it works out just fine. So, anyways, uh, this is Ajax from Team High Society. I know this is a simple thing, but sooner or later, you're going to want to run it. You're going to want to change this. Um, I guess the other thing I forgot to mention is that it's not like you can just put in AA batteries in here. There's no methodology, you know, that doesn't have like little springs that you can put double A's or something like that. So really you've got to have a battery pack ready and don't be like me and lose five days while you wait for Hobby King to ship your stuff. Replace your battery before it's a problem. And like I said, I think that the, uh, the LIFE is kind of the, the way to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. If this was at all useful for me, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, test thrust um, for different props and motors. Go flying in cool places. All kinds of stuff. Once again, thanks a lot.